Okay, quick video tour with Mike's move on Ballacraga Farm. Apologies about the wind, it's blown a, a hooli here today. Uh, so that's the driveway that comes up from the road. And then you've got a big area in front of it, about two acres we believe, flat lawn, garden, mature trees. Uh, views from this place is staggering. I mean, down in that corner, you can see the Lake District and St. Bee's Head. And then at the back, there's um, um, from the back windows upstairs, you can see Scotland, England, and Ireland. And there's also a raised um, sunset deck at the back, which is lovely, which I'll try and show you. Okay, so up the driveway. Uh, apologies about the front. Um, there's scaffolding up at the moment, um, part of the reason why it's not actually on the market, but the reason for that is uh, it's getting all new coping stones both sides of the property. Um, and the uh, tiles have all been pulled back and there's been new um, trays and felt and everything in there, so uh, that will all be done and repainted. Okay, so that's the bungalow. asking about the other property so that stone wall there if you can still hear me for the wind is the other property so there's no privacy issues whatsoever that's coming out of the wind incredible spot it really is okay so Composite door there into a nice big hallway. Staircase there to the first floor and uh, understairs storage cupboard. Uh, here you've got a cloakroom, which has uh, got the heritage style or Villaroy and uh, sorry Vernon Topbury suite, Dado panel walls and some fun wallpaper. Here we've got a little, well, the, at the moment they use it as a gym, but it's a gym or home office or study or whatever. Staircase there to the first floor. So that takes us there into a fantastic big um, open plan, either dining kitchen or uh, kitchen sitting room. They have it, they like to sort of cook, so um, they like to have it completely open plan. There was a wall here, the wall was took down and there was steel RSJs and things put up. Uh, so as I say, they, they have it as a kind of a sitting room, uh, scrunchy sofas and TV on the wall and completely open plan to the kitchen. The kitchen's got these lovely big um, five panel bifold doors that uh, fold out and spill onto the front patio and garden. The kitchen's got the central island unit with the breakfast bar, Cardine style flooring, American style fridge freezer. Masses of worktops and cupboards and granite worktops, one and a half bowls sink, uh, two ovens. You've got a brand new range master, um, gas and electric cooking range, filter hood above. Another AG oven there with four ring gas on glass hob. But yeah, cracking big room. They spend most of their time here. I've uh, got a utility here which is big, uh, loads of extra wall cupboards and base units and with drawers and plumbing and a washing machine space for a dryer. Um, the boilers, by the way, both the boilers here and the uh, bungalow were replaced last year. So they're brand new oil boilers. The bungalow has its own oil boiler. Nice room. Okay, so that's just where we came in. That was your staircase to the first floor with your uh, cloakroom and little gym. And then you've got a sort of formal dining room, sitting room here with the Ingle Nook style fireplace with a timber lintel, um, recessed wood burning stove. And that leads into the rear conservatory, which is nice because it creates a link between uh, the house and the cinema room. It's 
So that's the cinema room. They use this a lot, huge, great big spongy sofa and huge, great big TV on the wall. Dual aspect windows. As I say, there's no privacy issues whatsoever from the neighbor. And uh, it's just a lady on her own next door. She's been there for years, so um, she's, she's fabulous. There's no issues there whatsoever. I've met her myself. Okay, so we'll have a look upstairs. Half landing window there. First floor landing. Uh, master bedroom was here from memory. A lovely cracking big double bedroom. Super king size bed there. It's got the um, walk-in wardrobes all fitted out nicely. Nice big ensuite. Uh, this is all pretty new. Vanity sink, uh, Hollywood Miller, mirror, um, subway tiles, loads of storage, uh, wet room, wet area, heated towel rail. No need for frosted glass here. And that's your, your view from sitting on the toilet, which is not bad. Underfloor heating in there as well. And across the landing. Got another double bedroom here. Faces front. Family bathroom here. With a tea bath and a nice little portal window. Another bedroom here, which is used as a study, but you still get a, a decent double bed in it because you've got the wardrobe and everything there. And then we go up again. The attic room, which at the moment is one great big open plan bedroom, but it would easily stud off because it's, it's enormous. So it would easily stud off into uh, two bedrooms with a shower room in between. Loads of natural light up here with the big Veluxes. Um, but views are just to die for here. I mean, sorry about the wind, but. Say easily sectioned off into two bedrooms with a bathroom. This will all be getting redecorated once the new coping stones have been replaced on the roof. This is just to give you an idea, really. It's not completely ready to go on the market yet, to be honest, although I am doing a couple of viewings on it today. Okay. Brave the elements in the wind again, and we'll show you the little bungalow. So loads of parking this side. The bungalow is absolutely lovely. Uh, that fence closes off there. Uh, so if there is guests in the bungalow, you're private from the house. But a really good sized bungalow. I mean, gosh, be the size of a, a sort of normal three bed detached bungalow in Honkin or Birch Hill or one of the modern estates. Uh, kitchen area there, loads of wall units, space units for the drawers, washing machine, oven hob extractor. This also has a new boiler. And you've got two really nice double bedrooms here, really big, spacious double bedrooms. Uh, cupboard there, and then you've got a, a shower room. Big uh, walk-in shower cubicle there. So that's it, hope that helped. As I say, it's not 
uh, quite ready to go on the market yet. Um, the, the scaffolding comes down next week and then it's going to get repainted. Um, but as I say, if you do want to come over, we are taking viewings uh, for chain free uh, buyers. So if you do want to come over and have a look at it, just uh, give me a call. Hope that helps. Talk soon.